Today, I'm going to be playing the third best player in Madden. I see right here in the top right corner, we're going to be playing Noah up next. And this is a really good game. This was my all Madden Super Bowl. See right here, he's going to be rocking the Eagles unis. He's a big time Eagles fan. I'm going to be rocking the Raiders unis. I'm a big time Raiders fan. And right here, I'm getting screamed at, but we get the ball out. Cooper Cup, I believe that is. I'm using A-Rod at QB. Let me know who you guys are using at QB, whether it be A-Rod, Josh Allen, or that new Jalen Hurts. See right here, we are in New Orleans Saints playbook, and I'm not going to lie, that wasn't the read. I had the left sideline wide open watching this playback. Third and one, we're going to run the ball just to get that first down. Word of the wise, Noah's going to be running this 1-4-6 defense. See right here, I was probably throwing a pick. He manned up my corner route, and that corner route was absolutely caged. A word of the wise though, if you play like dollar one four six, you know, you gotta test the run D. You gotta test if that run D is really good. This is my first time watching this game back, and right here, we're gonna hit the right seams to Cooper Cup. Like I just said, I'm in New Orleans Saints playbook. It has tied off set, gun bunch, wire off trio, and honestly, it's a very, very versatile formation that a lot of people are running. And you're gonna see a lot of 0-1 trap in this gameplay. Just for the sole fact that I wanted to see left sideline, that should have been a dot. I'm not going to lie. I bumped up. It was like a flood type play to the sideline. And I, I thought that should have been a touchdown. I, I didn't get my um, you know animation that I like. But it's all good. We're going to settle for three. And trust me, I'm super sweaty because this is my Super Bowl. But going back to what I was saying, um, those big dime, you know, big dime and dollar sets, you have to test the run D, especially if they're using safeties at linebacker. On the defensive side of things, we are going to be running the best defense, in my opinion, in the game, just for the sole fact that you could play anything. You could play under center with it. You could play, you know, the pass with it. You could play decent run D with it. And that is that nickel 335 loop defense that everyone is either loving in the game or absolutely hating. It's right here. We almost get a pick. Instead, he catches it. Thankfully, it was out of bounds. And yeah, man, we're playing really good run uh, pass D right now. He's right here. That should have been a pick as well. Um, one of four for Aaron Rodgers, and trust me, this was like the second day, first or second day of Mutt, man. Honestly, at this point, like, not everyone knows what they're gonna run. Um, and see right here, Noah's usually like a runner, right? He either runs a run, uh, bunch or like trips, and he isn't, excuse me, he either runs the ball or runs trips, and he is in bunch. So that kind of just goes to show that, like, no one knows what they're running. It's right here. He is going to hit this right sideline, and thankfully, he dropped it. I was running a lot of all-out man um, at this t point in time. It's right here. Legereus Sneed, new addition to the team, just added him. Goes crazy. That was low-key open, but, you know, with the pass lead and the pass velocity in this game, it just was not able to get where it wanted to be. But, yeah, man, like I was just saying, this this is a tough, you know? Like, a lot of people don't know what they're going to run. I'm sure Noah's going to switch things up. He was actually, you know, moving the ball quite well in this game. As you see right there, it was like a red zone stop, but I'll gladly take it. Um, right here, I'm going to run 0-1 trap this whole drive for one and two reasons. One reason I really want to clock him, and two is I'm testing this run D, and this run D is not looking like it's it. We get all the way down to the 7-yard line, and guess what? We're going to pop it inside zone, cut it back to the right, and there goes the touchdown, man. So... You know, we're up 10-0, which in this game honestly feels like 21-0. Trust me, like, it's pr you can move, score the ball, and more and more people are scoring. But when it was the first early stages of the game, like I said, this was, I think, day two of Mutt, um, it's it's pretty tough to score. I see right here, I get a B-gap with, with, honestly, someone that shouldn't have been in the game. That was pain. And I get the same B-gap again. So maybe pain is just a glitch because he b gapped twice in a row. And right here, I really should have called a timeout to maybe get the ball back and score points. But in my mind, I'm thinking, you know, this game low-key might be cooked. Um, you know, he's running bunch. And, you know, like I said, I've known Noah for a couple years now. He never runs bunch. So, like, I, like I'm just comfortable with him being in bunch. I really don't think he, you know, has the dots right now. But you'll start seeing he's going to start turning up slowly but surely. That's the type of player Noah is. He is like really a clutch type of player. When he's down and out, he's going to make those big plays. Whether it looks pretty or not, like look, he's 4 of 13. I'm not really going to bash him. Maybe if this was like Madden 23, 22 and he's 4 of 13, that's something to laugh at. But this game, trust me, I've thrown a good amount of picks. And I'm considered, you know, one of the top offensive players. Right there, very bad user. Cooper Cup going down the sideline. Um, he is, you know, starting to turn up. Like I said, back-to-back -back dots. Right here, nothing's open. He ends up throwing it away. And, you know, that's just the theme of the gameplay. He's passing every rip right there. Great dot. But I, I feel like that was just like, you know, my guy was right there. He could have made a play. 
Um, but that, just a close play. That was a dot nonetheless. Right here, he's going to go back to the slant. And that's the type of player Noah is, bro. He, he loves playing it, those chances. He loves playing his numbers. He's like a gambler, I guess you could say. Um, you know, those are, I wouldn't call those guest reads, but they did look like guest reads in my opinion. The first play, he went to the in route where I could have, you know, backed off and guarded the in route. The second play, he, you know, I'm guarding the slant the whole way. I was on a D line, mind you. Um, but he ends up throwing the slant. So, you know, whether those were guest reads or not, there were dots 100%. Right here, man, I'm going to give him a healthy load of Tevin Coleman just because I really want to see, could you stop the run? And right now, he's not able to stop the run because, you know, this is like when you're early on stage of Madden, you really want to see what runs are good, what runs are bad. And, you know, I, I mean, I'll be honest. I didn't know if this 146 was really like crazy or not. No one wants to play 146 off the gate, especially with how the blitzes are, especially without passing chems um, or, you know, throwing chems. Right here, I had a touch on the left sideline. I am instant through that tight end, and honestly, this is where stuff starts to go bad. Uh, I, I decided to run right here. I could have bounced it out. I actually did get a good amount of yards, but it could have been more. Um, right here, I'm going to go with this PA seams. Everything is back. I think that was like cover four, or he manned some people up. Um, we actually have a good amount of time. I don't think he blitzed his user. So I could have made a, a dot happen, but, you know, it's just too condensed in that red zone. Right here, I have X lay open. I have him open to the right side. He has a linebacker underneath, but I don't. I just don't know if those linebackers could jump. So, um, yeah, I don't know. Like, I, I, I'm happy with the three points I got because it is Madden 23. Had this been last year's game, Madden 22, you have to go for it. I don't care, bro. It's going to get scary for you. But since it's Madden 22, um, I, I'm trusting my defense, man. I am trusting my defense to get the job done. And we're going to start playing a little more aggressive now because I felt like I've been just running the same type of man coverage all game. See me right here making some nice adjustments with that zone uh, hook curl. But guess what? Sneed gets cooked. And I'm not used to saying that. I don't think anyone is used to saying that. Sneed gets absolutely torched. I did have Acrobat on him. I'm going to switch my abilities up right here. We get a crazy B-gap, man. And Micah Parsons has been going crazy off that left edge in this 3-3-5 loop all game. Right here, Cooper Cup. I got to mix it up, man. I, I, I was 100% thinking, you know, this defense is on. Like, you can't score on it or this, that, and a third. You got to mix up zones versus good and elite players. Not saying Noah's like the best bunch player, but like I said, he started throwing those corner route dots versus man coverage. I should have 100% ran more man cover or more zone coverage in this gameplay and you know it is what it is uh noah ends up scoring two touchdowns in the second half and on pretty easy drives if you ask me you know i did get a couple sacks on that drive but that's just a game right here second and five we're gonna throw a dot to end the game super bowl mvp ball goes through his hands we're gonna have to cook up we throw a book and that was the new passing feature that i'm using i messed up on it fourth and five right here and we get back and just like that the game ends so quickly and I mean, there's not much to say right here. Noah's, I think, assuming, I assume he's just, you know, trying out new passes and new dots. Um, the game is over though. Uh, word of the wise, you know, I'm not going to get a stop right here. Um, and I really like, you know, I, I'm all for the second chances and trying to get a stop in these scenarios. But when I don't have timeouts, I feel like, like the game is over, man. Like, I don't care if I win the game right here. I mean, I will surely take it because it's my Super Bowl. But like I said, Noah's just labbing up some passes right here. And he, he's still cooking me. He's still dotting me. Cooper Cup. His Cooper Cup is just God. My Cooper Cup just can't catch a pass. So, I mean, the game ultimately comes down to this play right here. I'm going to rewind it in a second. This second and five, man. I'm not used to playing 146. He gets some crazy pressure off this left edge. I have a dot. A crazy dot to Cooper Cup. The ball goes through my hands. Um, that was definitely the play of the game. I 100% could have converted these next two downs, but I'm not gonna lie, this 146 kind of had me shook. You play a defense like 146 or Dollar for the first time in Madden 22, or excuse me, Madden 23. See right here, look at this left edge pressure. I had absolutely no chance. I actually had an open player. I was throwing it to that dot. I know you guys saw that. At the end of the day, that, that pressure was just too much. GG's in the chat. I was very salty after this game because it was my Super Bowl. But I hit up Noah. I was recording this gameplay. I'm like, you know what? Can I use this gameplay for YouTube? It's going to be such a great game. And, you know, Noah being the good guy and the cool guy that he is, um, he said, sure, bro, you could post it. So I know a lot of people right now don't want to post their glitches and their dots and their defenses on, on YouTube and all that. But, you know, obviously Noah's a good guy. Ends up letting us post this for your pleasure alongside mine. 
So that's that's the gameplay, guys. Um, I lost my Super Bowl in all Madden seasons, but it's all good, man. This was day two of my. I wasn't feeling all that good at the game. You saw how many times I'm running the ball. Usually I'm passing the ball way more than I'm running it, so I was just not comfortable at all. We're way more comfortable, and we're feeling way better at the game than we were in this gameplay. So, man, just stay tuned, and we got some dots and glitches for you coming soon. Till next time, guys, hit that subscribe button, and I'll catch you guys in the next Madden 23 gameplay.